Ah, oh yeah. Ooh, very good. Oh, look. I did a video a long time ago. I got a lot of these videos up. And this before before the AOS, before I started the a ADOS series, right, I was doing uh, my regular the idea when I started these videos was just to um, um, somehow document and archive um, um, various adventures, various things in, in my uh, little existence on the planet Earth. Um, and then when ADOS came along, I decided to somehow take these kind of things, try to uh, relate it to ADOS, you know, why ADOS is important somehow. You'll figure it out if you keep on watching. So anyway, one of the things I did a long time ago is called, and I'll try to do a link, I'll find out, do a link to it, it's called uh, I am a spy. I like spies. Well, I shouldn't say, oh, blah, 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 blah. I used to read a lot of spy novels. Let me, let me see. Oh, my sister told this here, my trusted cameraman. That's why I can sit here and stuff like that. He's waving, you can't see him, but you know. Remember this book, Mr. Clothing? Yeah. The thing, the thing like that. Baby, I thought you were sleeping sick. Stay I sick and sleep. To... Yeah. The story hey, of century. The story of century, yeah. I'm talking to uh, Mr. Clothing now. The Evangelist, 1923. <laughs> That's when the Clonius first, first came here. Okay? But the War the Scouts. Why is everybody talking? Sorry. I'm trying to talk to the peoples. Gee, it's tough being a whatever I am. Okay, hold that book. But here's another or early book I got. This is a, um, one of the greatest spy writers, if you want. Uh, John Le Carre, right here. Um, this is one of his first books. I think maybe his first, one of his first books. Um, uh, maybe it's, I don't know, one of his first books. He's, uh, Richard Burton did this film called Spy Who Came From the, from the Cove. It's very famous, blah, blah, blah. Then he did this whole bunch of other books. I don't like Jupiter But Lecati, he that's not his real name. I think it's, uh, it's David Cromwell. Crom I, guess, I don't know. Crom he's English. You know, his guy's name is, real name is Cromwell. You know, but he did work for the spy agencies in the 60s and 70s. You know, the MI, whatever, 15, 16, 29, whatever. Like, look at, so Lecati, I really like his stuff. I've, I've written, I'm like, look. I read all, most of his stuff, you know. Anyway, to me, spies are very, very, very important. I shouldn't say it that way, but they are very important. But I was thinking, let's like, say back when, you now remember, Lecari was born like 1931 or something like that. There's a magical period. A lot of people were born between that. Amazing people were born between 19, say, 23 and, and 33 or 25 and, and, and 35. Amazing people. Anyway, let me leave that alone. Um, anyway, uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. So spies are interesting, but like they did in the fifties, like especially in the fifties and the sixties, the, the Cold War era, uh, a lot of spies. Be, I was trying to figure out this thing like golf courses, you know, and like having a golf course, and, and, and back then they they excluded like black people and all kinds of people from being a promoter golf because that's where you know the the big time, you know, the 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 people who now run it, the big time people would be meeting on all the white people would be meeting on the golf course and make plotting and planning on the golf course and, and, and the clubs or whatever have you. Da 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 da. You know, the only black people there were like the, the service and stuff like that. Oh, but before I go off on that, wait, 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 wait. So the, you know, that's what, but if you was gonna spy on them, who would you use? You know, da 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 da. I say what you would do. You would do. Let me show you another movie. I don't know if you, I think I showed you this movie before. Oh, I have it here. Oh, here. You know this movie? Did I show you this? Did you see this movie? The brother from another planet. Wow. Oh, yes, yeah. This Joe Moore? <sighs> yeah. This is an amazing. I'm going off now. Wait, I have to go off. This this is an amazing film. This is a film by John Sayles, one of the greatest, I'm saying, one of the greatest filmmakers to ever walk the planet. He this, and he loves black people. When I say he loves black people, he treats black people very well in his films. Slater films, you know, Sunshine State. He, he won the guy Gloria Foster's, and oh, he's just amazing cat. You know what I mean? Tall, you know. I, one of my dream interviews I wanted to do, I wanted to do an interview that, uh, this is back in, in the 80s when I was, you know, in the BAI. I wanted to do a, 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 a round table interview with filmmakers, with, well, with film people. Um, I wanted to do an interview that, uh, a three person interview with uh, Kathy Collins, um, uh, Gregory Hines, and John Sayles. I wanted to, do a thing. I never got to do it, but what the heck? Anyway, so anyway, this is a great film. But what is? It's by the, uh, an alien. You know, he comes down, right? He's a brother. <laughs> He's a brother. <laughs> the brother from another planet. Yeah. And he comes down. And he, and he can't speak, you know, he's, he's mute, he can't speak, you know, he can hear and everything like that, he's very intelligent, he heals people, but, uh, 
but 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 other people other of his kind of down and they all are like janitors and stuff like that you know cleaners builders now what happens when you're a cleaner of a building something like that they have trash i i give you a perfect example since they want to they, they're trying to make war with iran right now that's what the united states is trying to do mm -hmm. dumb move to, it's a really dumb move i'm telling you iran's i wouldn't okay forget that anyway well, so what Iran did with the revolution when they got rid of the Shah and, and the United States was, was shedding all their papers or whatever have you, they basically put all their papers together. There's another, there's a, there's another movie that that that, uh, that uh, the one that Ben Affleck did, you know. Uh, anyway, it's, it's a movie kind of Water Academy Awards and what Harry Rangers did. And so they went into the trash and basically got all the stuff that the people were shredding. They got it back, you know. So what am I? Why am I going all the rest of this stuff? Well, it came it, when 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 it came to me. That, that Donald Trump has had golf course for a long time. So all these big time peoples, whatever happened, when they get the, you know, they get a lot like I think like Jim Clyburn, the people like that, black people, they would go to a, some sort of big time golf course in, in California or something like that. Down here in South Africa, there's a lot of golf course people come down here for golf. Now if you own a golf course, you can you can, you know, you have access to all these people. And with this spy, basically, you can spy on them. You can get your people to spy on them. You know, I mean, you're, every, it's amazing. I think, okay, this is this is a just a second, just a second. This is a conspiracy theory. Okay, I think that Donald Trump had a lot of stuff on a lot of people. Just a conspiracy theory. Okay, because he owned golf courses. Okay, so let me leave that stuff alone. I'm bringing this all up um, uh, just to say. Um, information, not knowledge, but information is power. So you can get all kinds of information, and when you get information, you can use it. One of the things I really admire about ATOS is, is that for somebody to infiltrate us, just like they had to put Hoover and Western and them people like that in, 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 the, in the 40s, 50s, 60s, whenever he was running around, uh, 70s, right? They had to use informants. They weren't really FBI people, they had to use informants, basically, you know spies without any skills, you know what I mean, to infiltrate the Panthers or whatever have you. The only thing that's going to save ADOS is that, we, this is what's so important about our movement that's different than anybody else's our movement, is that we, t we, we are based on data and facts. We tell the truth. So you can spy all you want. All you're going to be spying on is stuff that is out there. We're not going to do anything nefarious or whatever have you. Yeah, you can get a little strategy, okay, we can be my primary this person, whatever, whatever this strategy is, they might get some win or whatever, but for some facts or trying to send some criminality things, it ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. And then, uh, so that's what makes me happy. I'm happy to be, uh, involved in something that, as I say, is bulletproof. I, you're gonna have a hard time trying to, to penetrate what's going on here because it's more of a, of a, of a principle. It's more of a, of a, of a, of a uh, an intellectual pursuit, whatever have you. So anyway, I just need to get that off. I just, I don't know why. I just needed to say that. Me saying it. Me, T from the Pattersons taking the trenches a bit, letting you know what I only suspect from a death of the American descendants of chattel slavery.